What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrenrad89 here bringing you another video and today it's going to be a little fun, different video. I wanted to actually take some time and go over my poster collection so I'm going to be showing off all the posters that I have hanging up around in my house, in my room, my TV room in here which is the dining room area. I'm just in the corner right here but if you can see what's back there it's the dining room so I'll show you all the posters I got hanging up but then I also have some that I don't have framed yet and I typically only hang up my posters when I get them framed so there's a few also that I'll be going through and showing you so this is just a fun poster collection video I hope you all enjoyed this video and hopefully like I said we have some fun times and you like and subscribe and you enjoy what you see and you know chill get some coffee grab a beer grab some tea or a, you know coke diet coke and Come hang out with me as we talk some awesome posters. Let's do this. Roll it. So let's start off with the posters I do not have frames for. This is my Civil War poster. One of the best Marvel films out there to date. Easy. Next up, we have my Hills Have Eyes poster. This is one that came with my Arrow video set. This is the original design of the poster. And then on the reverse side, we have the redone artwork by Arrow video. Very fantastic. Definitely need a frame for this one as well. Next up, the Cat O9 Tales, a Dario Argento film. This is the new redone artwork as well by Arrow Video. And then we have on the flip side, the original Italian artwork, which I think is fantastic. And this is another one that I very much have to get a frame for because I don't typically hang my posters up unless I have frames for them. So those who catch me on mics, did you see that's live stream Z Talks will recognize these posters behind me. We have the American Werewolf in London by John Landis, one of my favorites, and that's the Arrow Video redone artwork as well. And then that poster next to it is just a nice cool one that my sister-in-law got me that has all the awesome slasher icons on it. Some of my favorite characters in horror movie history are on this poster right here. So two very fabulous ones to have hanging up in my room and now as we pan up we have the mad max poster and mad max is such a fantastic franchise i pretty much enjoy every entry in this franchise even the thunderdome one come on tina turner like i still find that one fascinating look at that title screen thing too the maximum force of the future i love that tagline I'm all <laughs> but yeah mad max is easily a, such a great franchise even mad max fury road that one was a banger for sure too so and i love the design of this retro old school poster now to the living room this is the tv room and you're gonna find a lot of my slasher posters in here a lot of my horror posters are in here we have the original texas chainsaw massacre followed by 11 by 17 of the Ty West X film. That's a fantastic one. And these bigger ones are the 27 by 40 ones. And now we're going to pan over to a puzzle that my wife actually did. And we're both huge Batman fans. And she built this puzzle together, a thousand pieces. Then I glued it and framed it and hung it up in our movie room. So yeah, very awesome poster. Oh yeah, gotta show you off the ones I have hanging above my TV. Night of the Living Dead and Evil Dead right there, those two beautifully hanging above my tv and then of course we got to have you know them right above scrubs this is my comfort tv show for real next up we have the shining poster another one that is in my tv room and yeah one of one of the most iconic kind of creepiest images in there sorry for the glare from the lamp but definitely the shining a banger Next up, the Friday the 13th wall, and this is what it's going to be for sure, because I'm going to get more Friday the 13th posters. That's the first one right there. And then right above that beauty is the Jason Lives, part six. That's my favorite Friday the 13th film. So yeah, I'm going to get more and just make this kind of my Friday the 13th wall. Now we have the Nightmare on Elm Street, Wes Cravens, the very first Nightmare on Elm Street, and I love this poster. This is such a creepy, iconic design. Like the 80s and 70s have some of the greatest posters out there for sure to date. Now we have this awesome mobster poster. We have to support these awesome mafia films. I love me a good mobster film, and this is in our dining room, right where we eat dinner and all that kind of stuff. Next up, we have Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 poster. A friend of mine actually picked this up at a horror convention, so I'm very grateful that he found this and picked it up for me. Sweet, sweet find. 
Now we have my horror icons poster, and this is one of my most iconic ones. This is the one that's behind me when I'm usually shooting my videos, and so many great horror icons on there. I love the design of this one. There's some that I feel are missing on this poster, but it's still a freaking fantastic poster. And right above that, I have two awesome anime posters that I got from a state fair by a local artist. So I hope you all had a fun time going through all of my poster collection and having fun just chilling with me. And definitely for sure my next priority for a poster pickup is going to be Night of the Demons. I really need a Night of the Demons poster because I'm going to be attending or going to the Morgan Crypt Convention that's going to be hitting Albuquerque, New Mexico this year. And Linnea Quigley is going to be there. So that's going to be very exciting and I can't wait and I want to get her signature on a Night of the Demons poster. So that would be perfect. I'll probably get one of the 11 by 17s. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this fun video. Be sure to like and subscribe so you get more videos like this and everything. And most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.